Hawkins Kennedy impingement test. Let us demonstrate this test by using an animated patient here. With the patient upright, shoulder and elbow both flexed 90 degrees and now the examiner internally rotates the arm and the test is considered to be positive if the patient experiences pain with the internal rotation. Now let us talk about what are the conditions which are associated with the positive result of the test. Most often will be rotator cuff muscle impingement, examples like supraspinatal, teres minor, infraspinatus muscles or rotator cuff tendonitis that is the tendons of the rotator cuff muscles pass through a narrow space between the acromion process of the scapula bursa of the head of the humerus. So by performing this Hawkins impingement test, it exacerbates narrowing in the coracoacromial space and will worsen pre-existing impingement of the tendons and muscles when present. And this maneuver will also elicit tenderness when rotator cuff tendonitis is present due to mechanical forces or compression on the injured tendon or the muscle. So this is what is about the animated demonstration of the Hawkins-Kennedy impingement test.